So, hey guys, the uh, Gary O'Neill pre-Manchester City press conference has recently just taken place. Uh, we've got all the news for that. We've got some really positive news today as well. Is There's more good news coming on the injury front, so stay tuned for that. First of all, he was asked about the signing of Tommy Doyle. He said he's absolutely d delighted that it's all done and he's played a very important part in the season for Wolves. He said he's had to be patient and we've found ways to get him in the team. He talked about his obvious strengths with the ball and he thinks he can make that better. We need to get him to a point where he always impacts the game with the ball and he says that he knows how hard that Tommy Doyle will work. He's also gone on to say Tommy's better than he was as a player. He's a great signing for the club and he can't speak highly enough of him. Um, and that some players are very high maintenance, but Tommy Doyle isn't. He doesn't spend any time worrying about win and he's a good one to have signed definitely for the group. And he said he's a bargain. It's very good value for money. A cracking deal for Wolves. And uh, how much of a good deal it will be depends on him himself, Gary O'Neill, the coaching staff, and of course, Tommy Doyle. Uh, we've got some updates on the injury situation, and this is really positive noise, he said. Both uh, John Rickner, Bellegarde, Santiago Bueno, and Pedro Neto are all back in full training and he said that they could all play a part this weekend they're all fit and available so that's absolutely fantastic news of course um so i'm not sure obviously whether they'll start maybe santi Argo bueno would be the most likely to start if we go with a back three we'll need him uh, but we could see finally a stronger bench as well Talking about Manchester City, he said it's going to be an even more difficult test uh, than the one when they played them at home at Molyneux in September. Uh, they will be expected and were wanting to get maximum points because they need the title. But he said that his team will give everything we can because we need to be close to perfect to beat them. Um, he said he's looking forward to City uh, because they are the benchmark of where they need to be. It's the ultimate test away at the Etihad and he's looking forward to how uh, they will uh, deal with it. He's also asked about the touchline ban. He said obviously it'll have an impact but he will be in the dressing room with the players and will be in constant communication uh, with the bench. And then finally on the returning players... Pedro Neto, Santiago Bueno and John Rickner Bellegarde. He says he won't take any risks with anyone if they're not fully fit. But if you're fit, what are we waiting for? They all want to play and be part of the group. We've missed them and they've missed playing. Those are all the main points uh, from today's uh, Gary O'Neill pre-Manchester City press conference. Uh, if you value these sort of videos, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Loads of content coming out over the weekend. Hit the bell notification. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And go and check all our match previews and our full reaction to the sign-in, the first sign of the summer, of Tommy Doyle uh, from Manchester City. Uh, done one earlier on today on that. Go and check that one out as well. Until then, until the next one, always Wolves.